In Shadowrun 5th edition, a character can hide behind all sorts of things for cover. And sooner or later, someone is going to want to use the body of another living thing as a meat shield. In order to be prepared, you will need the rules for using bodies as barriers. It should first be noted that carrying around a body or forcing a person to be a meat shield is not an easy task. The character will need to apply an agility and reaction penalty equal to the difference between the holder's strength and the body attribute of the meat shield. First, let's take a look at the more common situation of using a body as a barrier against penetrating weapons, such as bullets. Step one is to determine if the attacker makes a successful attack. Whether or not the body will provide a cover modifier is up to GM discretion. However, if the attack hits the meat shield first, then the modified damage value of the attack must first be applied to the body of said meat shield. This is accomplished by rolling dice equal to the body attribute of the meat shield plus the armor rating of any armor that the meat shield is wearing. This is essentially a roll to have the meat shield resist the incoming damage. Reduce the damage value of the attack by the number of hits on this roll. The character behind the meat shield must then resist this new, potentially lower, damage value. Remember to apply the damage to the meat shield if it is still alive while being used for cover. A character may also be using a body as a barrier against a non-penetrating attack such as a melee attack, unarmed attack, or explosives. In this case, the attack is resolved in the same way as if the barrier were some other type of barrier, like a wall or door, the body attribute of the meat shield being used in place of the structure rating. First, the damage value of the attack is determined. Rockets, missiles, and explosives in direct contact with the barrier have their damage values doubled for this purpose. Next, the meat shield must resist the incoming damage by rolling its body attribute plus the armor rating of any armor the meat shield is wearing. Any unresisted damage is applied to the meat shield. The rules state that body barriers are treated the same as walls and doors. The rules for walls and doors state that for every multiple of the barrier's structure rating that the barrier receives, a one square meter hole is made in the barrier. It is up to GM discretion as to how this should be resolved with squishy bodies with relatively low structure ratings. Thanks for watching. Tell me what you'd like me to do a video on next. And if you liked this video, please feel free to click the like button and subscribe so you can get more videos like this one. Also, follow me on Twitter at GMFunkyTown where I post updates to this and my other channels, as well as some general musings on Shadowrun and its rule system. And thanks again for watching.